No, have you heard us say we are cancelling the free HSA <laughs> I've policy? I've heard that they say you say you want to cancel. Please, we have moved above that now. So <laughs> let us talk about the inefficiencies within the free senior high school. The six billion cities that is owed, <coughs> some of the suppliers, the monies that are owed, food and um, caterers <coughs> who come and protest at the buffer stock. You know, companies sleep there. There are so many inefficiencies within the school feeding. The poor quality of food that these children are being given, the lack of infrastructure, um, you know, um, expansion that has still made it possible to run this, um, what do they call the system, track system, the tracks, the which, we are, track. which we would work very hard at normalizing. I am even confused about the modalities and when they vacate and when they don't vacate. Let As it stands home, now, vacation is longer than the period you stay in for, school. Exactly. Yeah. So this, this, but this you, is, but you see that there's the, a lot of work to be that, done with the, our education on free SHS. Mm. On free SHS, the issue mm. um, of that's how uh, I was feeling the when issue we were on and on. <laughs> the, that's not the same thing I, when you were going on and I, on. Well, I'm sorry, but I, I need to do this. So on free SHS, the issue, the issue of the track, the double track system. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The free SHS, the issue of the double track system has to do with access. So it means that there's a lot of, there's a problem with infrastructure. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, within how many years are you uh, able to make up with the infrastructure deficits before you're able to remove the system of double track? Because we're supposed to take care, in fact, we're giving a certain period that a double track will last and then it will be removed. I think, um, do we still have the double track system now? We still yes, have it to a certain point. Not a few, quite a number. We, what we need to understand is that the double track was quite a stopgap measure. Yeah, it, the it's still there. That were coming, coming in. okay. But most of the schools after the infrastructure were provided okay. are being weaned off the okay. a couple of them. Okay, so so so, 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 so well in four not, years, you not, know when we um deployed mm. the e blocks mm. and we completed a substantial number which were operational and quite a number that had been finished but were not yet operational. So we have a track record of being able to prioritize what needs to be prioritized in terms of infrastructural expansion as we saw with our health sector, with the uh, UGMC hospital, the Ridge hospital, the um, Bank of Ghana medical sector. You saw the expansion of road infrastructure within the four years of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, the expansion of educational infrastructure, the expansion of airports. So we do have a, re a track record of knowing what to prioritize and where to put our scarce resources for the min um, maximum impact. That is a philosophy that would guide this policy of ensuring we complete existing infrastructure okay, so within so our schools to allow for mm. us to be able to streamline All right. the so Someone is drawing my atten attention to something. So Kojo Jr. says that, uh, Annie, she said 8 million people are disabled in Ghana. It's... it's Okay, I don't like to use that word. Please. But maybe she it's wanted to say it's 8.8%. percent. I'm sure that maybe the communication the P -W -D. and not the P -W -D. sorry the P -W -D. and not a raw figure. Please check that. Okay, thank you for drawing my attention. The person is sitting. You are assuming what she I'm is reading a message. Can you allow me to finish hey. reading and then I will I'll deal with it, <laughs> madam? <laughs> okay. Relax. This is, this is, please. Yeah, okay. As you can see, this was a figure <laughs> given to me by. A member of the disabled community. We d I just didn't come and sit here and hit my head. So the eight million was given to you by a yes, member yes, of the disabled of the community association. Yes. Okay. And I would leave. I would um, ensure I get the documents with which I was shared. And they even say that they believe they are more. They are more. Yes. But, but well, I believe that. I, I believe does that. Does he understand who a disabled person is? Does he understand the range of, of people disability who fall within the disability? Bra brackets, so please okay. don't think that. If, if you have all your limbs and all your medical faculties intact, don't use that to count what is, how, old, how, how many are we as a population? We are about Over 30, 30 million. 33 million. If across the nation there are 8 million people with various forms of disability, how can you contest that? Okay. Unless he is quoting from a document that I do not have. This source is directly from the association that worked and submitted a document to our gender committee when we were working to uh, consult all the stakeholders. Okay, so the Ghana Statistical Service reports that there are approximately 30.8 million people in Ghana, of which 8% have a disability and 5% point increase compared to previous data.
What was the was the data? Was the uh, why what was the source of data? Ghana Statistical Service. That's Ghana Statistical yes. Service. Yes. Okay. So I also have another reference to Ghana Statistical Service. Yes. That says that the twenty twenty one census mm -hmm. indicates that approximately eight percent, that's two point something of the Ghanaian population yeah. experience some form of disability yeah, with a higher prevalence among females, 8.8% than males, 6.7%. And they are more common in uh, rural areas compared to urban yeah. areas, 95%, 9.5% 9, 9, 9 to 6.5%. This was a 2021 census. Yes, yeah. 2021 okay. census. Okay. So, so Annie, let me, let okay. me just touch on so a if few that things Aaron, that... Let say, let, if the, I'm going to cross-check with the girls that submitted it, <laughs> and I, I am not... And this like was what the people, manifesto was no, built on. That, excuse this is me, what their policies were built on. <laughs> their policies Look, were built on wrong data. This so is such a mystery no, 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 no. of the highest Please, level. No, if you want continue. us to no, no, have let, let a civil conversation, you will be very careful that, not that to not to that the is a member of the ground. disability These are the people who will never have done that. They will never accept any error. Relax. I have sat here. Yeah, no, you need to relax. relax. You need to relax. We are not fighting you will not, relax. You will relax. not degenerate a relax. conversation and turn me, around and act a victim. This is your modus operandi. You will, you, you will not be allowed. You will not be allowed. Well, I don't know Can if you are the moderator. You said we should respect, I don't know you if you are the moderator. Each other. Am I done with the questions you were asking me? Yes, you are. So, am I done with the questions you were asking me? Have you learned? Let me touch on something. So, I wasn't done. Let me touch on it. I was trying to say, and to say to the good people of Ghana, that I will cross check that if it is my error that I was be it was supposed to be eight percent mm. and not eight million I have no qualms to come back and apologize for that but this is what I assume I was given by communicating with the group we worked with okay and the person is here so I'm going to correct that we don't have a problem at all correcting errors unlike some people who are very intransigent even when they are pointed out to that they are on error ways Okay. And the fact still remains that no, whatever I have to take policy, a break. whatever to policy was espoused, was built on wrong data. That is a powerful but I lie and some, mischief, which was not, not clear. Some things that she put out to that not clear. And um, what was not clear? So she was putting out some data when I mentioned the National Road Safety Authority, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean. Data Quickly, because I need to go for a break so and, and then come back to other to, issues. And this was published okay, by graphic, Daily Graphic, right, uh, on uh, January 16, 2024, online. Mm -hmm. And the latest statistics released by Daily Graphic by the National, to Daily Graphic by the National Road Safety Authority revealed that 2000, this, this is not to say that people dying is right, but let, just for the purposes of the statistics, uh, Shamima was trying to put out. So the latest statistics released to the Daily Graphic by National Road Safety Authority revealed that 2,276 persons were killed in 14,135 reported and road crashes involving 23,998 vehicles. Within the same period, 15,409 persons suffered varying degrees of injury from the crashes, while 2,500 plus so what is the error there? Compared with 2022 figures, the current statistics show that the deaths from road crashes declined by 4.1 percent. Annie, injuries, what did I say? 1.8 percent and crashes by 5.5 percent. What is the error there so that you're trying to point out, please? Because you will not misinform people. Being upgraded for you know, I told you that from a commission, they were just doing. Education. I, mean, I need to know what the error there was. Education. Because I told right. you, I listened to radio. Right. And, you and, and I was, I was, to I was not clear. If you, are, if so you, if you have comprehension problems, let me know. Yeah. So that I'll break it down. I, mean, I told you that you I listened to, to a report this, okay. this morning Sabima, that said all that all at least 1,500 people had died from the beginning of this year. What is the error in that? But for the respect... What is the error? Clarify it. Clarify it. Clarify it. Be congruent. Hold on. We are from the same part of the Oh, my sister, you can't threaten anybody. Hold on. You can be on civil. I'm not on civil. Hold on. And you just lied. Hold on. So let me tell you. What is the error in that data? Allow me. Go on. Let me keep quiet. Let her correct me. Okay, hold on. Correct me. You are. Check data. 
to build policies. That so is wrong. That's a palpable uh, mistake. So you, you will not be sure. You said she know made that. an error. Yes. Even the data. She's I'm the asking you. Data she, she was not listening. How? Me, I wasn't uh, clear on the data. Shami, me, allow me. You asked that question, I forgot. So I'm putting the right data down. It such such class behavior. Show that. So, Shami, we need to be civil. We need I to write language. I, I don't know you uh, to be like this. Teach me. I don't know whether teach me by example. you're joining where you're joining. Teach me by example, not by words. Teach me, no, teach me by example, my dear sister. Teach me by this. example, which I thought you, you also were. You cannot sit and, and so say what I'm sitting to lie about. You. I don't, I wasn't clear about, about my women. statistics. Women being, ex she was talking about women being spokespersons and women being an NDC having more female communicators. Honey. If it's about women, she said they had fielded more females that's now what I'm saying. for the purpose so if they it's want to. So just achieve. about women oh. being in positions, then I'm sure by now we should all be so all women in this country should be supporting the CPP candidate, or probably years before we should have been supporting Madame Mekia Donko. But you see, there's a you lot can of put, comprehension you can put problems. Though. Thirty, you can put even hundred percent of women in your organization, but if the right policies the right ideas are not there for the women to implement them, then what is the point? What are we looking at? And you see, for those of us who come from the northern sector of this country and come from some of the poorest regions in this country, we need to focus on development and life-changing policies that will assuage the hardship of our people down there. We may have had the opportunity of education. We may have had the opportunity of access to good health. But you see the same at the places that we are. So when we are espousing policies and all that, she said okay. that the MPP is engaging in okay. last minute vote, vote buying. buying. That's some ridiculous mm. statement to me. But you know what? It takes one to know one. Okay. Maybe that is what they okay. are doing. Let me take a so break. So maybe that is their stock in trade. It's vote buying. But we are interested in telling Ghanaians what we met, what we've done, and what we are going to do. <laughs> Someone just says we are telling this country to upgrade this, this, country, to upgrade this country Annie, to where it I should be. I would correct the and error. The outcome of it is mm -hmm. social okay. intervention. Okay. You see, okay. there was about disability, uh, okay. one of the things Dr. Kwamiya already put out, even before the uh, uh, manifesto came out, apart from the fact that he committed to implementing the affirmative action bill fully, even before it was passed, shows commitment to it. The fact that he was, he has, he's he is put, yes, on the 7th of action. February, when he was putting out his vision, he said he was going to uh, implement the affirmative action fully when passed into law. Now it's been passed and it's in the manifesto. Wow. The, common fund for, the, common fund, the common fund for this uh, ability, the section of the we will move from 2% to 3%. Okay. Dis disabled tertiary Sorry. students will be getting what? Free okay. tertiary education. That is what we are talking about. Okay. Not people that say that. She said what? Okay. China said what? Please they are now diagnosing <laughs> the problem. They are now diagnosing the problem. You are diagnosing the problem. Because the NPP look, look, the, the people who are in power. Come on. Eight years of this okay. okay. in power. So we have to ask. Let me correct. For there was no error. Okay, thank you. In the for a flat balance, they will never end. Okay. Shamima, one minute. 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 One minute especially when they are on a tirade of misinformation and trying to gaslight Ghanaians into thinking that they are the best things that have ever happened to this country. I sat here, and if you watched me, I said this morning, I listened to Joy, and Raymond even broke down the statistics and said that from, this, from the beginning of the year up to this point, we can say that on the average, at least three villages have been lost to road accidents. She said that from the beginning of the year, about 2,000 deaths had been recorded right. per the because road safety own statistics. We have so Dr. Baumia submitting his forms. And, and 500, 500, 500. What is the error? And the footage has been picked. So just in case you're seeing the live view there, is that the electoral commission? Dr. Baumia submitting mm. his forms. Right. So Shamima, mm. so, so finish. I'm saying, so that's what I'm saying. So that, that is the fact. It cannot be an error.
But this is what they do all the time, constantly. They are jittery. You see, defeat is so, it's staring at them so much in the face that they have taken a very aggressive stance at every and anybody and trying to deceive the good people of Ghana. You know them. We will vote out this incompetent, intransigent, arrogant NPP administration. When we come back, oh, look, the person who is a vice president is still preferring solutions. The person who is a vice president, who picks and chooses what he you would align with okay. and what he would be part of is, where we is telling us not using the after but collapsing this economy they are asking you to upgrade years, a collapsed economy it's not enough. Upgrade a no, collapsed economy. Whoever in their right senses will upgrade or build on